Um, so Betsy, what's the state of the residential market? And, and you span from, I, I think, Gainesville to St. Augustine and, and beyond. So what's, what's kind of your take on that? Yeah, it's um, similar to Brian's with the commercial market. The residential market is very strong um, across the state of Florida. We've had a 6% growth in unit sales over the last year, an 8% growth in dollar volume, and a 5% growth in prices. Comparing that to the Gainesville market, it's very similar. So Gainesville's mimicking the, the state, a 5% increase in unit volume, a 12% increase in dollar sale volume, and another 5% increase in prices. Um, the median sale price in Gainesville right now is $238,000. That's the highest it's ever been. When Bo put on his first real estate form in 2010, the median sale price in Gainesville was $157,000. So a significant wow. increase in median price. Um, expireds are way down. An expired listing is when it, you go active, but it doesn't sell in the time frame that you have, usually about 6 to 12 months. Um, expired listings in Gainesville is at 7.6%. Where you're starting to see differentiation, though, is at the different price points. We really have two different markets going on right now, the market under 300000 and the market over 300000 In the market over 300000 you'll see actually price depreciation. You have a 2% decrease in prices in the 300 plus market, and as the price increases, that differential gets greater. Same with expireds. If you've got a house that's over a million dollars in Gainesville right now, average days on the market is 190 days, and 22% of those homes do not sell. So it's a very different market in the under 300,000 and the over 300,000. But overall, when you look at the overall market, a very strong market. So and that's, I think, everything we're hearing. But if we're going to drill in, and accountants are pessimists, so I'll give you that as a, anyway. <laughs> What do you do about a lack of supply? I think I hear that a lot. And how, from a business standpoint, do you handle that? Yeah, that's tough. Um, uh, inventories are down 8.3% in Gainesville right now. And in the under 300,000 price point, depending on what price point you're looking at, there's a decrease in inventory of anywhere from 17 to 53%. As of about three hours ago, our MLS had 1,110 houses on the market. Um, it's a big problem, and um, you have to educate your buyers that they're going to be in usually a multiple offer situation. There's ways that you can make offers more attractive um, when you are in a multiple offer situation. From a broker's perspective, you have to be very diligent about finding those sellers. So sometimes it's not those sellers that just raise their hand, but maybe they're the absentee owners that have left this marketplace and don't realize how much their house is worth now. So maybe you go out and try to find those. You get more aggressive with the for sale by owners and, you're, and the Zillow make me moves. You get more um, aggressive with trying to market to the expired listings. You also get better at networking with your colleagues um, at other brokerages because everybody knows houses that are coming onto the market, but they're not technically on the market today. Um, the other thing that we're seeing across the country, actually, is that sellers are starting their searches much earlier. Um, this has been a trend since 2015. Last year, Move.com reported that in January and February, they had the strongest number of sh um, showing views ever in the history, and they're seeing that again in this January. So people that need to move this summer, they're already starting to look now. We're also seeing people very willing to break a 12-month lease eight months early when they find the house that they want mm. um, and pay the remainder lease to get into the home that they want. So um, those are some of the strategies that we're taking. Betsy, I, uh, can you comment on, like, I've always wondered, like, what are the most desirable neighborhoods? Which are the ones that, that you just get the most calls on that sell the fastest? And consequently, which ones are the ones that are there parts of town or there neighborhoods that don't sell as fast? Um, yeah, great question. The number one product that is the hardest to sell right now is a luxury home. We've defined luxury in Gainesville as 500,000 plus in the heart of Northwest Gainesville. So think 23rd Avenue, um, 39th Avenue, and 53rd Avenue that has not been renovated, built in the 80s and 90s. That is the hardest house to sell right now in Gainesville. The easiest house to sell right now in Gainesville is in a planned community, has community amenities, price point under um, 300,000, and off a major road like Archer, Newberry Road. 
um, zone four of the A, you know, the better rated schools.